Hi, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on Gentry Gallery. Today I've got a really cool piece to show y'all. This is a 1940s pocket knife. But not just any pocket knife. This is an Ulster Mountain Division pocket knife. Very, very rare, very desirable, and just something downright cool. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Ulster received the contract to produce these knives around 1942 and did so through 1943. The biggest and most unique thing about these knives is this little Phillips head screwdriver. Folds right out like that. Like I said, this is a mountain division pocket knife. And the reason why this screwdriver was so necessary is because this is the primary tool used in ski maintenance. So if you need to tighten your bindings or repair your skis in some way, chances are you're going to need a little Phillips head screwdriver. So the army specifically requested that tool be added to a pocket knife for their mountain division troops. This knife was also adopted by the famous FSSF or the first special service force, um, which obviously drives the premium up a little bit on these. Besides the little screwdriver, another huge uh, identifying factor of these knives is going to be this fat bale here. You'll see that on a lot of scout knives or lineman's knives, but this one's interesting because it's actually got US impressed or stamped into the bale itself. Um, I believe that the second and third iterations of these knives have US in the bale. The first iteration, I'll show you a photo of right here in one of the recent issues of Knife Magazine, looks like this. So you can see there's the Phillips head screwdriver actually attached to the end of the bale. That was the first variation and it was quickly phased out because with torque on that bale, the screwdriver head's little spot weld would just snap right off. So uh, they quickly replaced it with this design where the screwdriver is safely folded into the knife with the rest of the blades. Speaking of blades, let's open up the rest of them. First, we'll start with this little clip point. Very nice on this example. Super shiny, almost like it's never been used. Next up, we have a little mini pocket knife blade. I'm not entirely sure on the name of this blade shape. If anybody knows in the comments, please let me know. Definitely not a pocket knife expert by any means. Then after that, we've got your can opener here, and this is like an old style can opener. On the fourth iteration of this, they actually changed it to a more common looking um, eagle's beak, which is kind of more like that, you know? Um, but on these first and second and third edition models, they're like this. And then last but not least, and certainly the hardest to get out is going to be, oops, going to be this, okay. <laughs> Technical difficulties here even harder with gloves all right here we go finally all right so here is our punch blade which is not something you see on a lot of modern knives but I believe this would be a really useful little tool you could punch through sheet metal or any number of things because it's kind of reinforced here by being folded over see and then a blade on this side so very interesting little tool Anyways guys, that's all I have to say about this little knife. Really, really happy to have it in my collection. Found it here locally and uh, it's just amazing what you can find if you're out looking. If you guys have one of these, let me know. Uh, I'd love to see some examples of the other variants, especially that first one. Never seen one in person um, and would love to have one of those too. But yeah, if y'all like this video, let me know and uh, feel free to check out my other content. If you're new here, I do videos on military knives, military in general, and military history. So if you're into that kind of stuff, come check out my other content. Anywho, thanks for watching y'all and have a great weekend.